I spoke to Everton in the morning. Mm-hmm. Arthur Cox rang me and said that Everton had bid 2.9 million for you. 2.9 million for the Saunders. So I went and spoke to Howard Kendall. That was interesting. <laughs> not, as in, not as interesting as Brian Clough. And it picture the scene. So I've got to go meet him at Alan Hill's house on the A52 in Nottingham. So wait, you're Four o'clock. Yeah, four o'clock. Three-bedroom detached house. Me and my agent, Kevin Mason, who looks like Robbie Coltrane. <laughs> cracker. <laughs> just, <laughs> just get the picture. He looks like, he looks like Cracker. <laughs> He's a ringer for Cracker. Yeah. So we walk in. Gaffer's on his way from the ground. He, he'll be here in five minutes. Right. So we sit down in the lounge. It's the best garden you've ever seen. The back garden's perfect. We sit down on the set. The Archie Gamble, cup of tea. Next thing, knock on the door. Gaffer's here. Yeah. Brian Clough walks in, green sweatshirt, green sweatshirt white yeah. shorts, <laughs> white <laughs> socks, blotchy cheeks. Walks in. <laughs> I stand up. I was obviously a bit nervous. It's Brian Clough. Yeah. Young man, nice to see you. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Clough. Looks at Kevin, my agent. Son doesn't even shake his hand. <laughs> we sit down and he walks up the opposite end of the house. Yeah. Sits on the chair with his nose about an inch from the wall. Looking at the wall. <laughs> I was thinking, what's he doing? <laughs> and he doesn't say anything for about a minute, and we just sat there, and all of a sudden he we went, just Son, just staring, at the just staring at the wall. And he went, Son, can I speak to you, or do I have to speak to him to speak to you? I said, you can speak to me, Mr Clough. He went, thank you, son, because I don't really like talking about football in front of him, because <laughs> he's a fat... <laughs> So, so I burst out laughing. Kevin's not laughed. Oh, so dear. at this point, he slid off the arm of the chair onto yeah. his knees on the floor. And he's sitting back on his heels going, I've got bad knees, son, my knees. <laughs> my knees are killing me, son. And he starts crawling on his hands and knees towards me. I was up the other end of the house. He's crawling on the floor. I'm thinking, what? what? I can't believe what's going on. It's a British record transfer. This is supposed to be. And he stops... Looks at the carpet and he went, Illy, like your carpet, son. <laughs> he said, Where'd you get that from? He went, Carpet right. <laughs> How much? He went, Twelve ninety nine a square yard. <laughs> he went, My Barbara would love that carpet. <laughs> Good choice, Illy, son. <laughs> at this point, I started to work out he might be drunk. <laughs> he crawls up to me and he sits He's back, crawls. He's crawling you. on his hands and knees yeah. and he looks out. Out the patio doors, the best garden ever. And he spot and he sits back on his heels. He goes, My knees, what a lovely garden. <laughs> Do you like flowers, son? He said to me. Do you like flowers? I went there, all right. He went, hang on, don't move. He goes outside, gets this pot. There's the best pot you've ever seen with flowers spilling out of this pot. Yeah. He's trying to get his hands around the old lot to get them out. <laughs> Ellie runs out behind him, he went, Gaffer. No, don't put. That's my best pot. Don't pull him out. He went, Illy, you're ruining the deal, son. The lad likes flowers. <laughs> so, so he gets a handful of flowers, gives them to me. It goes on ages. This story, by the way, it's that's hilarious. Okay. No, for two hours, make it longer. Anyway, he comes in with the flowers, and he went, "Smell that, son. Smell that. What do you think?" I smelt the flowers. <laughs> I've gone nice, yeah. He went, "I love flowers." <laughs> Do you like Frank? I went, Frank who? He went, Frank Sinatra. Oh, yes. He said, Illy, put Frank on. The dad likes Frank Sinatra. My kind of town, Chicago, comes on. Brilliant. He gets the flowers out of his pocket. He says, get your mic out, son. <laughs> get your mic out, because he puts them in my jacket pocket. It's Morris. I said, what do you mean? <laughs> he went, get your mic out. So I get the flowers out of my pocket as my mic. I'm now singing the chorus to Frank Sinatra, my kind of town, Chicago, on... <laughs> British ra- record transfer in Alan Hill's house. I was thinking, what's going on? Uh, so he sings a song all the way through. Yeah. I, I was going, Chicago is. <laughs> <laughs> he said, come on, sing. They can all sing where you come from. <laughs> so <laughs> so Welsh, he's out Because I'm Welsh. <laughs> so he goes, um, he goes, right, now then, you like Frank, you like flowers, do you like me, son? Big question for you. Do you like me? I said I had to say yes, and I yeah. said I can play for you, Mr. Clough. He went, That's it, Illy, we've got him. He loves me. He loves bring the contract. Kevin, who hasn't said a word, my agent, opens his mouth. Oh. He said, actually, Mr. Clough, we've got a few things to discuss before you've got him. He said, Who said you could speak fat soul? <laughs> right. He's killed him. <laughs> so he went, Illy, take fat soul out in the garden. <laughs> I can't talk about football in front of him. 
So he walks out the patio doors and Cluffy went, son, get yourself another agent. <laughs> I went, why? He said, look at the size on him. I went, he's my mate. He said, he's your mate. He'd eat everything in your fridge. <laughs> so, we, so, we, so we sit back down. Archie Gamble says, right, but what are we going to do, Gaffer? We gonna, he, he said, is it not done, Arch? Have you not done the deal? He went, no. He said, what have you been doing? He said, well, get on with it. Get on with it. So we sit on the patio outside. Archie Gamble's got to persuade me to sign for Forrest. Yeah. And Cluffy sits down, folds his arms, go on, Arch, get it sorted, <laughs> get it sorted. So Archie Gamble goes, Dean, uh, right, I know you spoke to Everton this morning. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't be swayed by the money. <laughs> Cluffy, <laughs> went, <laughs> Cluffy went, got to stop you there, Arch. <laughs> I would be. Carry on. <laughs> So shock Archie a bit. <laughs> he then goes, and the other thing is, Nigel, the gaffer's son, he'll create you 20 goals a season on his own. Yeah. He went, got to stop you again there, Arch. I'm going to tell our Nigel you've said that. Thank you for that. He'll love that. Carry on. <laughs> so Archie's got, he said, Gaffer, I don't know what we can offer him. What can we offer him? He went, Arch, he likes flowers, he likes Frank, and he loves me. The lad doesn't want any money. Do you, son? So I thought, how can I get out of here? I've got to get out of here somehow. So I went, yeah, I, want, I don't want any money. I've got to speak to my wife, though. I've got to, go, I've got to speak to my wife before I sign a contract. So I went home, 12 miles away, pulled over. Kevin says, you better go out of order, calling me fat. Yeah. How can you treat me with so little respect? You're not signing for them. Got to my back door, went in the back door, said to my wife, you're not going to believe what's happened to me today. <laughs> she went, shh. She's putting a finger on her lips. Shh. I went, what? You know what she's pointing in, she's she's pointed pointed in my lounge. He's, he's, over he's only sat in my lounge <laughs> with the pot from the garden <laughs> with his arm around my mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, dear. Honest to God. I, I was proud oh. he tried to sign me, but oh. it was that's the funniest thing that's ever happened to me in football. Uh.